Hi everyone, this is Michael Smith with Picks and Sultry Studios and today I'll be showing you how to pose a mini Rex Rabbit. Now, if, for all those who watched me <clears throat> po watch the video of how to pose the Netherlands Dwarf Rabbit, posing mini Rex is completely different and and I'll show you why. And in fact, right now, I'll show you why. With Netherlands Dwarves, with, ne with Netherlands Dwarves, you pose them with their head up and with their head up like that see kind of like that but this is a mini rack so you don't pose them like that now the way I pose them I set them down on the table okay I put my hand my my thumb right behind their ears and I put my hands my hand covering their eyes so they don't get too alarmed now I hold their head steady sometimes they like to buck and rear like the rabbit on this cage right here I'll show you in a second and so put your hand your other hand right on the rear and squish the rear just a tad not too much but like Nellan doors you want the front paws to be in line with the eyes and the back paws and the tip of the back paws in line with the hips you want that and so you so you push them back in and you want and another thing you have to do you have to whoosh the fur just go like that a little whoosh with their fur and so shows off their fur because with mini rex the big thi the big thing that the judges like is their fur and just a second this little this rabbit is chewing this white water bottle holder and so you do that and then you and whoosh and let go and you want the rabbit just to sit here like this not move just sit and pose and breathe now the longer the pose the better it is now this this rabbit right here i hope i can sh show you the rabbit this rabbit's kind of kind of just like a round now you don't want now if you really want to win best in show you don't want you don't want a rabbit like that now the rabbit that you do want or best to breed best in show you gotta have almost a perfect rabbit now this is Cleo, she's very ornery, she may buck, and I'll show you. Now put your hand on the head, and see, she's bucking right now. I'm not doing that. She's, okay, and she likes to jump. And also if you're posing a mini rex and you leave the cage door open, close it because I've had them jump for the door and miss and crash, the fall, crash down on the floor. Luckily they've lived and been fine. And so, um, and so, this one's hard, but if you can, if I can pose her, it'll, you, I'll show you what, see, like, like that. You want it just to go kind of, sh it's hard to see, I know. It's, you want it to go straight and then curve. This is the outline of the body. Just want to go up and then curve over, not not like the rabbit I showed you before, where it was just rounded. You wanted to kind of upwards. Now that's that's a better one. And now with mini rex, you um, the ears. You don't have to worry about too much about the ears. The eyes, the eyes are okay. Um, just make sure you keep their nails trimmed nicely, and um, make sure it. You don't have to worry too much about, but make sure their hips or shoulders are, are lined and in line and even. Now, um, now their fur, you you don't want it to be too long. I'm I'm new at this, so I may not be totally accurate, but you don't want it to be too long, like a quarter of an inch, like, like a quarter of an inch. That's a little too long. You don't want it to be too short. You want it to be just right. You want it to be pretty thick, like Theo's right here. This is his name's Theo. It's pretty thick. I know you can't feel it on the camera. Haha. <laughs> anyway, um, you want it to be too thick. You don't want it to be too thin, like the rabbit I just showed you. And and so that's with the fur. Now I'll show you one with that gives you difficulty. This is this is Leo. He's a really good rabbit, but he oh he's feisty. Now now he's got nice roundness. Oh, their weight. Now I think you ha you want the bucks. The bucks would be th three pounds and under, and the does three and a half pounds and under. Now I'm not totally perfect about that, 
Now I'm not totally positive 100% about that, but that's that's what you want. I'm pretty sure. Um, so sometimes they'll just pose like pose like this. Now don't don't when you're working with a rabbit, don't be afraid to keep your hand over their eyes like this and kind of train them to do it. I don't want to use that, but sometimes you almost have to. And so like this. He's actually posing. He never poses. He's very. He's another difficult. Yeah, he's he's a nicer rabbit. And so now, like like the Netherland dwarves I showed you, do you you might want to use winning sheen. It helps. It helps. Um, it says hair polish provides smooth show quality shine. It's actually for horses, but you can also use it for rabbits. Now. Um, now there's three kinds of brushes we have here. We have we have a standard brush, we have like a soft bristled brush, and we have a grooming stone. Now you don't really want to use this. Use this. This is for Netherland dwarves. And you don't really want to use this for mini racks or wrecks. But you um, this this you can use. It's not too too hard for bristles. But it's soft enough where it won't damage your fur or anything. This, this is what you really have to have 100% because this is specialty for them. Now it, now just you just hold it and I do it with the edge and just take the edge and go like this, like that. And so also I, I mentioned this before. This is just vinegar, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of cornstarch, and a lot of water, and. See, I've actually got right in here. See the vinegar, vinegar, and the cornstarch. We've labeled it for the bunnies. Okay, and that's what you want, and just spray it on twice. I spray this on twice, and I spray this on them once. The winning sheen once, and that's what I always do. Now, um, mm, there's something else. Oh yes, don't don't not the winning sheen. Don't spray this on the darker rabbits. You don't you don't want to do that. Spray on the lighter ones like um, Himalayans, um, Himalayans, ruby eyed whites, brokens, stuff like that. But you don't want to spray on dark uh, blacks or blues or or darker ones like that. It doesn't bleach your fur, but the cornstarch helps makes the fur whiter. And so you want, you want, especially blacks. You want, you don't want any white in them at all. And so I guess that's that's with doing the mini racks. Um, oh, also, let's see if he um, and this right here with Devlin dwarves. If there's that dewlap I was talking about, and as you can see right here. It's a, a lot of people call it double chin. This is a dewlop, like the flab of skin underneath the neck. With Nellon Doors, it is a, disqual a disqualify. You don't want to sh show them with that. But with Mini Rex, it's not a disqualify. It's a disqualifying thing. It's it's very common, very standard, and as you can see, he's a buck and he's actually gained one, which is it's common. So you don't you don't have to worry about that, and I guess that's pretty much it. And I guess that's pretty much it. Now you don't want their nails to be too long, like his is. And I'll show that to you in another video. And so I guess I guess that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe below or above or wherever your computer's like or phone is like, wherever you're watching this on. And please like, comment, subscribe, and keep an eye out for my next video, which will be uh, what was that? I've got a schedule. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be games how to gain started raising Netherland Dwarves part one. There's gonna be two parts of that. Part one and part two, and that's gonna be my next video, part one. And so please like, comment, subscribe to that, and keep an eye out for that, and I'd appreciate that. Thank you.